Welcome back everybody to another fun gear review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Pathfinder stainless steel 32 ounce bottle. I got this off Dave Canterbury's website, the Self-Reliance Store. Link in the description if you're interested after this review. Now this particular one, I'll give you some specs on it. We'll look at the box and get started. It's made out of 304 grade stainless steel, 0.5 millimeter thick. It has a flat ABS cap. It's the same cap that's on the Pathfinder Canteen. So we're gonna check and make sure they're exactly the same. Bottle dimensions is eight inches tall, three and three quarter inches diameter with cap, weighs 8.5 ounces with cap. All right, to convert all those measurements into metric, it's looking like it's 20.32 centimeters tall, 9.52 centimeters diameter, uh, weighs 241 grams, and it's just uh, 32 ounces, just under a liter, so it's like 9.46 liters. So, with all that out of the way, let's take a look. Oh, and before I continue, the reason they designed this particular one at 32 ounce was for purification tablets that are here in North America. They're uh, typically, some of them are done up for 32 ounces. So this bottle holds exactly 32 ounces. So let's take a look at the, the box. Made in China, which a lot of his stuff as far as I know, I don't think any of it's, except for some of the knives, are made in America. And in case you need it, the UPC. All right. I gotta say, Dave did pretty good on his packaging. It's pretty simple, it's pretty straightforward. Okay. And there it is. It feels pretty light in the hand. It's pretty, that sucker's pretty heavy duty. I'm not gonna be able to easily crush that. And it does have a silicone ring in here to help seal it up. You can see the uh, weld going right down the side there. That looks very well done. Okay. All right, first things first, we're gonna check the uh, weight empty and see if that's correct. They said 8.5 ounces or 241 grams. Let's take a look. It's set to grams, so we'll do that first. 239, so it's under the listed weight and eight and three eighths ounces. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. All right, second thing I wanna check, here I have one of the uh, canteens from the Pathfinder School, and these lids look identical. So I'm gonna take the lid here off the bottle, lid off the canteen, and look at that, it screws right on the bottle. Now, another thing is, if you break, lose, this lid, you can buy a replacement on his website for around $6. That's not bad at all, okay? Other thing I wanna check is with the Nalgene bottles, you can always fit a cup on them. Now they do sell a cup on the Pathfinder store. In fact, you can get this as a kit with a cup and everything. I chose not to because I have so much cooking gear, it's crazy. Someday I might have to have a garage sale and get rid of some of it. Yeah, who am I kidding? That's never going to happen. Anyway, so I have this Luxata titanium cup from another review. I love this cup, by the way. We're going to see if it, and look at that. It fits with room to spare. So if you were to stick a uh, bandana in here in this, it would fit nice and snug and wouldn't rattle. And that's perfect. Okay. So the only other thing I really want to test here is I want to test the seal and make sure this seals up 
good and doesn't leak. So I'm going to fill this with water, put the cap back on here real tight, and we're going to leave it inverted for at least eight hours. And we're going to see if it leaks. We have four cups of water here, which is 32 ounces, just under a liter. We're going to fill this up. All right, that brings the water level right up to the shoulder here. So that's how you can tell you have 32 ounces. Gonna put the cap on here, make sure I don't cross thread it. There we go, tighten it down. And now I can either leave it probably laying on its side like this and uh, I'll come back in eight hours. I got a bunch of work to do outside and we'll see if there's a puddle of water here or not. Everyone, so I'm back inside. We're been outside for a little over eight hours. I come in and of course James is up here. James is the technical expert, the brains of the operation. You know, without James, I, I couldn't make videos because he's definitely got to put his input all the time. Don't you, James? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's see. Nope. No leakage. Still full of water. So I'm going to call that a pretty good test because if this is in your pack, you wouldn't want it leaking. Now, I would have been surprised if it do, did leak, but uh, David Canterbury stuff has so far been of excellent quality. I see no issues. You just got to make sure that the lid is cranked down nice and tight. Now let's talk pros and cons of this kind of bottle. Pros. It's practically indestructible. It is, you can take the lid off and you can set the whole bottle into the coals of a, of a campfire to purify your water do it using the boiling method or even you know cooking a light uh, soup or something in it. Cons. It's heavier than a Nalgene bottle. Uh, Nalgene bottles have graduations in them which help you when rehydrating certain camping foods and stuff which is very helpful. This has no graduations at all. You, so you'd have to guess, you know, okay, we got 32 ounces here. So half of that is, uh, what, 16, you know, or 18 or whatever. So you'd have to guess. You'd have to do a lot of guessing. Um, that's about it. I really don't have much more to say about this. It's it's nice. It's nicely priced. They do have a larger bottle on his website. They have a 64 ounce, which is twice the volume of this one. And they even got a cup that'll fit that 64 ounce. The 64 ounce is a much wider body too. But I just picked this up with a few other things when I uh, bought some stuff last time off his website. And uh, You'll be seeing a few more pieces. <laughs> but that's all I got to say about this review, folks. Get it, don't get it, that's really up to you. But if you're in the market for a stainless steel bottle that's not too large, you might want to look at this. Or the canteen. All right, that's it. Have a great day. Say goodbye, James. Bye.